Broadcasting from Landrigan Field here in Wakefield, Massachusetts. It's opening night for football for the Wakefield Warriors. Hello, everybody. I'm Dave Gardner. And tonight, Wakefield will take on the Greater Lawrence Tech Football Reggies. That's right. They'll take it on the Reggies tonight. The Reggies will be in the silver jerseys with the snazzy, shiny helmets. They are down to my left right now. And Wakefield will be in their red jerseys, I believe, tonight with their gray helmets. We're getting set for action right now. We have the cheerleaders on the field, the band out on the field. And we should have the uh, coin toss and the opening kickoff here for Landrigan Field in just a few minutes.
And we're almost ready for game time here as Wakefield has taken the field. They will occupy the bench across from us here. And the red jerseys, the gray pants and the silver helmets. And as mentioned, Greater Lawrence Tech football in the silver jerseys and the orange numbers. And now, the national anthem. Opening night 2019 here in Wakefield for the Warriors. Their football season kicks off at home tonight. Looking at the weather, we got 64 degrees. Nice, cool, clear night. It looks like we're going to beat the rain from that hurricane that was scheduled to start any time now, but looks like the newest forecast has that starting later on, so we should get this game in and everybody stay nice and dry tonight, especially the cameraman. They're out in the elements for this one. Some upcoming games that will be broadcasting here on WCAT. October 11th, we have Winchester here at home. And then the following Friday, October 18th, Watertown will come in to play. The Warriors here at Landrigan Field. So we have those two games upcoming along with tonight. I hope you're going to join us. As we got some great football action coming up here. There's the coin flip. And looks like Wakefield won the toss. And looks like won the coin flip and they defer. looks like they will defer. Wakefield will defend Wakefield. the goal to our left. And so Wakefield will be kicking off from left to right in just a minute. And we're almost set. Opening night. 2019. We've got 12 minutes on the clock this year. I believe that is something new here in this uh, high school conference. I was told by our PA announcer Spiros that they've added a minute instead of 11. It's going to be 12 this year. Teams are almost set for the kickoff. The official standing on the W at center. Getting ready to tackle tonight's game. I want to say thanks to our underwriters as we kick things off here. Thanks to Keith's Tree Service, the Savings Bank, and the Boys and Girls Club of Stoneham and Wakefield. Thank you so much for being an underwriter here on Wakefield Warrior Football. And if you'd like to be an underwriter, give us a call here. 781-224-0300. Ask for Ryan. Tell him you want to be an underwriter for the Wakefield Warriors football broadcast. 781-224-0300. Number 44, Daniel Hurley set to kick things off from the 40-yard line. The crowd filing in here on this spectacular fall night in Northeast Massachusetts. Looks like we have Franklin Espinal back to receive the kick. And we're underway here in Wakefield, 2019. The kick is taken at the 15-yard line. Moves up to the 25, almost to the 30. And that's where Greater Lawrence will begin. 
First and ten. We expect to see uh, Shamil Diaz, the quarterback, number one. We're going to also keep an eye on the running back, number two, Malik DeJesus. And also the, the aforementioned Franklin Espinal in the backfield. So first and ten for Greta Lawrence on the 29-yard line. Split backfield. Diaz in the shotgun, calling signals. First and ten. It's going to be a handoff to the left and gaining four or five yards on the play. And that was the Jesus on the carry for about five yards. Call it second and six after the four-yard gain. And the ball is on the... 34 yard line, direct snap, quick handoff up the middle, and Wakefield snuffed that out, but darting forward for a couple of yards, and that'll set up third and three on the play. That was the Jesus again on the carry up the middle. Quickly coming to the line now on third and three, third and two, and it could be offside as one of the Warriors jumped over the line on the play. Now let's see, yeah, they're going to mark it off. That's going to be a first down. So with the five-yard penalty, that's going to be a first and 10 now for Greater Lawrence. Move the ball up to the 42. So a couple of runs. Got at the third and three. They lined up quick, and that seemed to fool the Wakefield defense, and that drew the penalty. So we get a first and ten now on the 42 after the penalty. High snap. He gets it down. Hands off and going nowhere, maybe for a loss of a yard on the play. And the Wakefield defensive line getting in the backfield in a hurry. And, yeah, that might be a loss of two on the play. Back to the 41. We call that a second and 12 now on the 41. Maybe second and 11. 10, 11 and counting here in the first quarter. No score opening drive for the Reggies. Now a handoff to the left side coming right at us and the referees blow the whistle and we have a stoppage. So we got a motion penalty now. So, so five yards now, so back that up now. Second and maybe 16 from the 36. Let's see what Coach Rafferty has in store for Wakefield on defense for this play. Clock is running 9.45 now. Diaz in the shotgun, takes the snap, keeps the selfie, rolls to the left, looking to throw, now does, and it's almost intercepted. Oh, in and out of the hands. That might have been Wesley Pierre who nearly picked that one off right here at the sidelines. So Diaz is 0 for 1 on the day for passing. And it's going to bring up a fourth down and very long from the 36. Looks like they're not going to kick this away. Looks like they're going to go. Oh, I'm sorry, this is third down, not fourth down. The penalty was not a loss of down. Now Diaz scrambling. He's in trouble. He's He gets away. He goes to the right side over the first down marker there, the original line of scrimmage, rather, and picks up a couple of yards. So some nice feet work by the quarterback. Quarterback run. He's going to get a bunch of yards on that one. So it's going to set up now a fourth and maybe eight now. As he got it back to the original line of scrimmage and then dove forward. Terrific run by the quarterback. Getting out of trouble on the play. And so now let's see if they're going to kick this one away on fourth down. 
8.52 and counting on the clock. And looks like they are indeed going to kick this one away. Fourth and eight now for Greater Lawrence. Punt formation, the snap, the kick, it's away. It's a decent kick that's going to bounce inside the 30 and take a Reggie's roll inside the 20 down to about the 16-yard line. And that's where the Warriors will take over. So it's going to be Wakefield's first possession of the game, 8.24 on the clock. No score and a good defensive stand. Each team taking a penalty on that opening drive. And I'm gonna put that down on the, call it the 16 yard line. So first and 10 on the 16 for Wakefield. Pierre takes a snap, pitch to the right hand side. He's got a couple of block, gets around the corner. Here he comes to the 30. To the 40 yard line, a terrific run by Sweeney. They're gonna mark him down just shy of the 40 yard line. Terrific run. I think that might have been a 25 yard run. So Warriors first and 10 now. On the 40 yard line after the Sweeney run of 25 yards to the right side. High snap. Flag is down as well. And let's see who recovers the fumble. Well, that might not have been a flag. That might have been something on the sideline or is it a flag? There's a yellow marker on the sideline here in front of the Greater Lawrence Tech bench. So it was a flag, it was a sideline warning. Loss of 11 on the sack, call it a sack, so it's gonna be second and 21. Now run to the left side. Quarterback keeps it, trying to get back to the original line of scrimmage. He's going to come up just a tad short. And it's going to be a third and long now. Third and 15, according to our official PA announcer here next to me. Ball on the 35. The need to get to midfield almost exactly if you remember that's where the Aiden Sweeney carried them just just shy of the 40 so after all that that we've seen they've lost five yards on a couple of downs two men split out to the right gonna be a quarterback keeper trying to get around the right side and he's gonna be bottled up after a gain of two maybe three yards so it's going to be a fourth down now and call it 12. So from their own 38 the yard line, they're going to send the punter in and they're going to try to kick it deep. Keep great alliance bottled up in their own end. Seven minutes to play here in the first quarter, no score. The kick is away, it's a good one. This one's going to land at the 31 and take a Wakefield roll down to about the 20 yard line and we have a flag on the play. So we'll see what the penalty is. Punt was down to the 20 yard line. Let's see if they're gonna put it back anymore. Nothing, nothing on score. First quarter action from Landrigan Field opening night here for the Wakefield Warriors. And it looks like they're going to march him back a little bit. The ball rolled dead right around the 21. And that's going to push him back to a terrific kick by Hurley on the punt. And that's going to set him back a few more yards, I believe. See where the 
final spot is going to be. Oh, they're going to bring it back 10 yards this time, put it right on the 11. So we got another penalty. So they went from their own 38-yard line after the punt and the penalty. Breda Lawrence will have to start first and 10 from the own 11. Let's see what Diaz, the quarterback, can do with a long field in front of him. Out of the shotgun. He's going to pass. Fires it up over the middle, and it's knocked in and out of the hands of the receiver. It's going to be a second and 10. It's a second pass Diaz has tried. The first one was nearly intercepted by Pierre of Wakefield. So second and 10 now on the 11 for Greater Lawrence. Clock stops, 6.39 to go here in the first period. Wakefield in the red jerseys. Greater Lawrence Tech in the gray. Diaz, three receivers to the left side. He's gonna roll to the right. He's in trouble, he's being chased. He fires it and that's gonna be knocked down and incomplete. They set up three receivers to the left side. He rolled to the right. Was being chased immediately. I think that might have been Andrews giving him chase on the play. And he had to throw the ball in a hurry. He threw it behind the intended target. And so now we have a third and ten. Ball still deep. And the Great Alarms Tech end. And we got a timeout on the field. So once again, thanks to everybody who's tuning in tonight. Thanks to everybody at WCAT here in Wakefield putting on another terrific football broadcast. A lot of great cameramen working on the field tonight and above me in the booth, actually on top of the booth. And got our usual crew in the truck. Although in the truck I hear they have pizza. So in the truck is where you want to be. Teams coming back from the timeout. A big third and 10 right now for the Reggies. See if they can get out of there, the shadow of their own goal, as they say. They send three receivers to the left again. One to the right. Diaz in the shotgun. He's got one back in the backfield. They keep him in the block. Fires to the right-hand side. It's caught near the first down around the 20-yard line. I think he's going to be short. Let's see where they spot it. It all depends on the spot. And he's going to be short. So about a nine-yard pass. It's going to be fourth and one now from the 19th. Quick huddle. They're going to go for it. Fourth and one. Three receivers to the left. A back in the backfield for Diaz. Calling signals. Takes a snap. Handoff up the middle. Fourth down play. And he burrows through the line. I think he picked up the first down. Gutsy call by the Reggies. And he does pick it up. Picked up two yards on the run. And that'll give him a first and 10 now. And they're going to mock it at the 22, so give them a three-yard run on the play. Sun is setting now. we got a terrific skyline, if any of the cameras can catch that, off to our right behind the goalpost. It's always a terrific view up here for the football game. So first and 10 for Greater Lawrence. And off up the middle, and picking up a bunch of yards, and finally brought down... After a first, yeah, a first down to the 33. Both the carry to the oh, they're not going to give him the first, though, are they? And yes, they are. The little slow on moving the first down markers, but that's going to be first and 10 on the 33. Quick snap. Quarterback keeps it, goes around the right-hand side. He got another first down up to midfield, down to the 44-yard line of Wakefield, and the Reggies have things moving right now. So getting it done on the ground. So from the 33-yard line, that looks like about a 22-yard run. 
So first and 10 now on the 45 of Wakefield. Quarterback keeper up the middle on a draw play. He's got a lot of room. He gets down to the 20-yard line. A 25-yard quarterback keeper up the middle on a little draw play. And Greater Lawrence Tech now has moved the ball from their own 11 down to the 20-yard line of Wakefield. Up the middle one more time for five more yards. They're down to the 15. So the running game getting it done right now for Greater Lawrence. And if you remember, they converted a fourth and one on their own 19-yard line. If Wakefield could have stopped them there, things would be much different than they are now. But Greater Lawrence converted that, and they've run five straight times down to the 15-yard line of the Warriors. 4-10 to play now here in the first quarter. No score. Three receivers to the left once again for the Ridges. Snap and a handoff going up the middle. First down and more getting close to the five-yard line. And now that should be a first and goal now. De Jesus on the carry. Seven yards, so it's going to be first and goal on the eight-yard line. They're going to mark it. Or maybe on the five-yard line. Rolling through. Fumble the football. The ball is loose. And who's got the ball? I think Wakefield comes up with the ball. Wow, a long drive. It was first and goal. I think it was first and goal from about the five-yard line. And a handoff up the middle, and right before he got in the end zone, the ball came loose, and Wakefield picked it up in the end zone for the touchback. So a big fumble at the goal line. And now Wakefield has it first and 10. They'll bring it out to the 20. Good looking drive for Greater Tech, Greater Lawrence Tech on that one. Driving it from the 11 all the way down to the goal line. But the fumble cost them. And now Wakefield, first and 10 right now. Pierre. Hands this one off around this, the end and knocked out of bounds and hit out of bounds as well after the play. That was Aiden Sweeney and we got a flag down before that. So we'll see what the referees call here. Clock stop, 3.26 to play. Looks like they're gonna back him up. And holding is the call. So back him up 10 yards. So it's going to be first and 20 from the 10. So instead of first and 10 from the 20, it's first and 20 from the 10. So let's see what they could do now. First and 20 from the 10. After the fumble, they get the ball back. Now it's a pitch up the middle, and a lot of bodies in the way and going nowhere. And the ball was stripped out. And are they gonna call the runner down? What is the call? It looks like the play was blown dead. One of the Reggie players come out of the pile with the ball and ran into the end zone. Still waiting for the official announcement. We have a player down on the field. That might be the quarterback. Pierre. The referees are conferring just inside the 15 yard line. The play went up the middle. There was nowhere to go. And Pierre is coming up limping. And hopefully he'll be okay. He's walking real gingerly off to the sideline there. Good 
15-yard penalty. And so it's a 15-yard penalty against Greater Lawrence. And so the ball now comes out to the 27. Second down and two from the 28. So second and two from the 27-28 yard line. And now to run up the middle and barreling forward and I believe that was Sweeney picking up the first down. So a really bizarre set of events here was first and 20 from the 10, a run up the middle resulted in a unsportsmanlike penalty for 15 yards. And then the three yard run Gets him a first and 10 now on the 33. And I think this is now Roberto number nine in. A little hand off to the right side and the Reggie snuffed that one out for no gain on the play. And Sweden, Sweden again in the carry going nowhere. So may, maybe a yard, maybe no gain. No gain. They call it no game. So second and ten. Zero yards on the run. And we're looking to see how Pierre is doing on the sidelines. But right now it's going to be Nicholas Roberto, number nine, your quarterback for Wayfield. He takes the ball under center. Hand off. Now coming to the left hand side. There's some blockers out there. And stumbling forward for about five yards on the play was Tucker Steichman. And he got about, about about five yards on the play. It's going to be third and five now from the 38-yard line. 104 to play here and counting in the first quarter. No score. This is the second drive of the game by the Warriors. Last time they punted, and they just recovered a fumble inside their own end zone. And that denied a scoring chance by Great Alarm Stack. Now it's a handoff to the right hand side to some wooden run for Sweeney up over midfield. First down. So on the third and five, picks up about 12 or 13 yards. And now it's going to be first and 10. And now they're at the 49 of Greater Lawrence. So Wakefield's got something going here after the initial setback for the holding penalty. They got a penalty of their own against the other team, and now they're moving. First and 10. Hand off. Going to the left side this time. Block is out in front. Pushing forward, close to a first down. Once again, Steichman going to the left side. And let's see where they mark him out. Referees are confirming he was near the first down marker, depending where they spotted him out of bounds. We've got a face mask, so it's an eight-yard run, and then a penalty of 15 yards. So they're going to bring it all the way down to the 27-yard line. First and 10 on the 27 now after the 15-yard penalty. That's two 15-yard penalties on this drive for the Reggies. Hand off up the middle for a couple of yards and no more. And that should end the first quarter. So Wakefield is driving here at the end of the first quarter. A scoreless first quarter. Wakefield nothing, Greater Lawrence Tech nothing. And we'll be back with second half action here from Landry and Field in just a few minutes.
back out on the field, switching sides. Again, I want to thank to our underwriters for this game, Keith Tree Service, the Savings Bank, and the Boys and Girls Club of Stoneham and Wakefield. Thank you to our underwriters for this broadcast. If you'd like to join our game night crew, give us a call, 781-224-0300, ask for Ryan. So second and eight now for Wakefield. Flags flying all over the place. Hand off to the right-hand side, and that's enough yardage for a first down, but let's check the flags. That was a second and eight from about the 27. So we're going to back them up five. Yeah, that's another penalty. So... My math is correct. That should be. Yeah, second and 13, maybe 14. Backing them up to the 31, maybe 31 and a half yard line. So we'll call it second and 14 for Wakefield. Receiver out to the left. Two tight backs in. Hand off. Sweeney up the middle. Plowing forward, and he'll get maybe eight or nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up a third down and about four on the play. So he didn't get a very good spot on that. It's going to give him a third down and maybe closer to six. From the 23, maybe the 24 yard line. Clock running, 10.55 to go here in the second period. Sweeney in motion, is going to take the pitch, go to the right. He's got some blockers in front of him, but some penetration in the backfield by the Reggie's defender. And that snuffed out the sweep, and that'll bring up fourth down. Terrific hustle. Didn't get the number of the defender on the play, but he was in the backfield fighting off the block. And that might even be a loss on the play. Or they're going to call it new game. So bring it up. Fourth and six, maybe fourth and seven on the 24 again. A little long for a field goal. They're going to talk about this. So a crucial set of... Downs here for Wakefield. They got the opening possession here in the second quarter. Some terrific defense. Jarred the ball loose down around the goal line, preventing a touchdown. And that gave them the ball on the 20-yard line after the touchback. That was been the key play in this game so far. On this drive, which began in the first quarter, they've been the recipient of a couple of 15-yard penalties. But the drive seems it was stalled here around the 23-yard line of the Greater Lawrence Tech football Reggies. So Wakefield comes out, see if they have a play drawn up here or if they're going to try a 40-yard field goal. They have the wind at their back. I'm looking at the flag down to my right. It's a pretty steady wind coming in right to left. So Hurley will have the wind with him. 40-yard field goal attempt for Hurley with the wind. The snap. It's down. The kick is up, and it's going to be short. Kind of a line drive kick. He never got it up into the wind where he needed that to go to carry. And a 40-yard field goal is no good. So the ball will be placed at the 20-yard line, and that's where Greater Lawrence Tech will take over. Game is still scoreless here in Wakefield. Opening night of the 2019 home season for the Warriors. Warriors in the red jerseys and the Reggies in the gray. Reggies going left to right. Diaz looking to pass again. Fires, and this one's behind the intended receiver. 
I think that might have been Torres, number 10. So incomplete on the play. Second and 10 now from the 20. Ten minutes even showing on the clock here in the first half. Got a lively crowd here tonight. It's a beautiful night. 63 degrees at last check. Snap back to Diaz. Look deep. Now he's going to run. Now he's in trouble trying to slip away. Be a chase. And he couldn't go anywhere. Oh, he gets away. One more time he gets away. Now he fires it. And it's going to be incomplete. He was slipping and sliding out of the grasp of several of the Wakefield rushers. And... Three times I thought they had him bottled up, but Diaz got away and fired the pass, but it was incomplete. So that's going to be third and 10 now from the 20. Some good pressure by Wakefield. They just couldn't wrap him up to get the sack. Andrews was in there on the play. Both Andrews were in there on the play. And they nearly had him wrapped up. So here we go. It's a third and ten now. And let's see what we got here. We got a timeout by Wakefield here on the third and ten. So again, some upcoming games here at Landrigan Field in October. On the 11th, Winchester comes into town. The uh, terrific matchup there between Wakefield and Winchester. And then the following Friday, October 18th, Watertown will come into Wakefield for a game against Watertown. So come on down and check us out here at Landrigan Field on October 11th and October 18th. Still the big play in this game was the fumble by Great Lawrence Tech on the Wakefield goal line. The, I didn't see who had the ball from here. He was just ready to plow into the end zone, and the ball was jarred loose. It wound up in the end zone, recovered by the Warriors, and that has kept this game scoreless. Penalties have also played a small part in this game. Great Lawrence has picked up two 15-yard penalties, actually on the same drive. It was on the last Wakefield drive. So now we get a third and ten for the Reggies. Diaz in. That's, that's a motion penalty now. Diaz is back in the shotgun calling signals. And that's another. Now it's going to be a penalty five yards. So third and 15 now from the 15. Coach Sarkis on the sideline was asking who moved on the play. Third and 15 now from the 15. Diaz takes a snap. He looks deep. He fires it up, and this one is intercepted at the 47. I think that was Pierre on the interception. He's going down. He might go all the way. Oh, he's tackled at the three-yard line. He was back there playing center field. I think that was Pierre, so he seems okay after he left the game shaken up. He intercepted that long pass, and he ran it all the way back inside the five. We're going to mark it at the four. First and ten for Wakefield. That's the second turnover of the game. For Greater Lawrence Tech, they had the fumble on the goal line. And now they have this long interception that puts Wakefield in terrific, a terrific opportunity to drive this one in. First and goal from the four. And off Sweeney up the middle. He goes in for the score. Touchdown, Warriors. Nice 
nice little dive up the middle. Sweeney come in from the left. And went off tackle on the right, and he found a hole and had no trouble getting into the end zone. Hurley now will come out and try the extra point. He missed a 40-yard field goal try earlier. He's got the wind at his back. Trying to make it 7-0. Here's the snap. It's down, the kick is up. The kick this time is right down the middle. So that is, consider that a four yard drive. That's all they needed to go. And it was Sweeney on the run, putting them up by a touchdown. Of course that comes off the interception run of about 43 yards. He intercepted that right around the 47 yard line and he ran it all the way back to the four. That was what Z. Pierre did, playing center field on the play. As Brada Lawrence was going deep, they had a third and 15. And the long pass was intercepted. So now we'll kick it off from the 40 with Wakefield now ahead, seven to nothing. Early with the wind at his back. Actually, the flag is gone still right now, so he doesn't have that wind blowing in his direction just yet. Picked up a little bit, now it's blowing the other way. Kick taken down around the seven yard line, up to the 20. That's a cut to the 30, and about to the 32, 33 yard line. Goes. Torres on the return. So good field position now for the Reggies. They don't have it on the 32. So first and 10 on the 32. For Greater Lawrence. Greater Lawrence Tech, I should say. So 9.16 to play in the half. Wakefield up seven to nothing on the four yard run by Sweeney. Diaz clapping his hands now. Takes a snap, keeps it himself on the draw, goes up the middle, and will pick up five yards on the play to the 37. Hurley get in there on the stop. So mark it at the 37, second and five. The Reddies like to go with that three wide receiver set to the left. And on the quarterback draw, it goes into the middle, cuts back to the right, all kinds of room on the right side for Diaz. And he'll bring it down to about the 34 of Wakefield. So Diaz tried to go up the middle, actually bounced out, come on to the right side. Nobody was there, and he'll bring it down to the Wakefield 34-yard line. So quick line up here, no huddle. It's a snap. It's going to be a handoff up the middle, and driving forward almost towards another first down. This was to Jesus on the run. And the we're going to mark it at the 25. So second and one right now on the 25. Now the handoff to the Jesus. Trying to go around the left side. He's wrapped up. Flags come in. That might have been Andrews wrapping him up as he tried to go around the left side. Let's see what the officials say on the flag. Reggie's coach looking to the referees like what was the call face mask on the defense and that's going to be an automatic first down so the ball on the 25 and they're going to bring it down to the 20 so first and 10 now 
On the 20 yard line, the ball right on the 20 yard line after the face mask. So Greater Lawrence Tech back in business after giving up the four yard run for the touchdown after the 44 yard interception return. Now it's gonna be a hand off the middle. No, nowhere to go. Andrews got his big left hand in there. And that might have been a loss of one. 7.18 to go and ticking. I'm going to call it no game. It looks like they stopped it for a yard loss, so I'm going to call it a yard loss. Second and 11 on the 21. Wakefield defense hoping to stiffen here and keep them off the board. High snap to the quarterback. Diaz goes up the middle, slips through a hole, finds an opening, and he is going to score. Diaz went up the middle on the draw, cut to the left, and nobody was there. He waltzes into the end zone, and he gets the readies on the board. Now it's 7-6. Setting up for the extra point. Still a little bit of a win right now. And no, they're going to go for two. I thought they were lining up for the kick. They are not going to kick it. They're going to go for two. Diaz takes the snap, hands it off to Jesus, and he is wrapped up. The pile has been pushed, though, but not far enough. And the conversion, no, no good on the conversion. So Wakefield leads this one seven to six. And they will get the ball back here with 6.52 left here in the first half. Thanks everybody joining us tonight on a beautiful night here in Northeastern Massachusetts. Perfect football weather. The, the sun is finally set so that glorious sunset that we saw off to the right is now gone. It always looks really good when the cameras are setting up when we first get here. That sunset is really terrific up here on the hill. So the Reggie's getting ready to kick off from the 40-yard line. This will be Wakefield's fourth possession of the game. Their third possession was one play for the four-yard TD run. set looks like this is Kevin Matul taken at the 20 yard line got some blockers in front of him goes to the right hand side got an opening to the midfield and down to about the 45 yard line of Great Alarm and Tech, a terrific kickoff return for Wakefield, and they have fantastic field position. They're going to say he was out of bounds at the right at the 50-yard line. So still good field position. First and ten on the 50 for Wakefield. Six forty-four to play here in the half. Wakefield leading this one seven to six. It was a four-yard TD run by Sweeney earlier in this quarter that got them on the board. Going to be handoff to the left and nowhere to go. Maybe a yard on the play. And Pierre with a carry on that one for one yard. So they got it. They got over the 50 yard line to the 49, second and nine now for the Warriors. 
clock ticking here in the second quarter. Wakefield in the red jerseys, gray pants, silver helmets, going from right to left as you're watching the game. Back in the backfield, receiver off to the right. Sweeney takes the quick pitch, plows forward, picks up about four yards to the 45. And that's going to bring up a third and five. That's going to mark him down at the 46. So that would be third and six at the 46. Call it a three-yard run. Here come the Warriors. Big third down here in the second quarter. They lead 7-6 over the Reggies. Man goes in motion. He will take the pitch at the 50. Trying to cut around the side as Pierre puts on the brakes. A nice move. And that got him close to the first down. That last cut might have got it. And it looks like he did. He got to the 39. He needed to get to the 40. He got to the 39. And that's a first down. So call that a seven yard run. First and 10 now on the 39. Looks like he was running out of room on the sideline. He made that one last cut back towards the middle. And that was good enough to get him the first down. And off to Sweeney now. Sweeney cuts up the middle, barreling forward for maybe nine yards on the play. And that's going to be a second and, call it a second and two, they gave him eight yards on the play. Second and two at the 31. Wakefield's got something going here. After the kick return that brought him to midfield, they got a first down here, and they're knocking on the door for their second first down of the drive. Roberto is the quarterback. A little dive up the middle. First down, Wakefield. I think that might have been Daniel Hurley. Just a straight up dive up the middle, and that'll move the chains. And he is slow to get up on the play. So he got the first down. So it's going to be first and 10 on the 28 after the three yard gain. Clock stop at 4.02 to play here in the second half. Second quarter, I mean. Clock now runs. Sweeney with it, going up the middle, pushing forward through the crowd. He'll pick up a few yards on the play. So he'll get it to the 25. He'll pick up three yards on the play. Second and seven from the 25. Slow and methodical the drives have been for Wakefield. I'll accept that drive from the four yard line after the interception that led to the touchdown but they've had some pretty sustained drives in this game second and seven now Pierre goes in motion fake to him goes up to Sweeney up the middle and he barrels forward he's close to a first down they might even need to measure this one real close they're going to take a look at it and are they going to call for the measurement? They're looking. And no, they're going to give him the first down without the measurement. So seven yards on the run, and that's another first down as they got it to the 18-yard line. Coming up on three minutes to play here in the half. Wakefield driving. Roberto is the quarterback. He takes the snap. Sweeney in motion, takes the pitch, goes to the right side. Looking for that first down marker. Now he's looking for the goal line. Diving forward, and he's just short of the goal line. He was reaching for the pylon, 
with the ball in his right hand, and he was knocked out of bounds. It's gonna be a first and goal, and he's slow to get up over there. Curly was slow to get up after the last run. Now Sweeney's down on the ground after a terrific run to the right side. And he might have got 16 or 17 yards on that carry. They haven't marked it the one, so call it 17 yards. First and goal on the one, but we need to check on the Wakefield running back. Clock stopped with 2.49 to play in the first half. He's up and walking back to the bench. Hopefully he's okay. He's a big part of this Wakefield offense. So first and goal from the one. Last time they were down this close, they gave it to Sweeney who punched it in. Now they're gonna have to do it without him here. Wakefield lines up, first and goal on the one. Roberto under center. Roberto takes a snap, a little pitch. Reichman trying to move in, he's wrapped up. He didn't get there. Steichman rather, that was Steichman on the carry. So minus one, second and goal now on the two. Tucker Steichman took that pitch, and that play had worked really well for them to this point. Tight formation again for Wakefield. 2.14 to play in the half. They lead seven to six. First and goal on the two, hand off to the left side this time and tripped up behind the line of scrimmage and we got a procedure penalty, oh boy. So a first and goal from the one is gonna turn into a second and goal from the seven. So they were knocking on the door, now they're going backwards, so second and goal from the seven. Two minutes and counting here in the first half. Terrific drive for Wakefield. Began at midfield as they returned the kickoff exactly to the 50-yard line. Now they got three tries from the seven. Hand off. Steichman to the right side. Trying to get in. Knocked out of bounds. He's just short. And it's going to be a third and goal now. On about the two and a half yard line. Call it the three yard line. So he gained four on the play. Third and goal from the three. Clock stops at 138. As the player went out of bounds. Roberto on to center. Third and goal. Pitch to the left and hit immediately and slips in for the touchdown. And that is Pierre getting in. It looked like he was hit behind the line, but his momentum carried him into the end zone. And Pierre from three yards out gets the TD. So 13 to six on the TD run. Hurley and now try to convert his second extra point of the game. The snap, the place, the kick is up. Boom, that one right through. And so it's 14 to six for Wakefield. So they have runs of four yards from Sweeney and a run from three yards for Pierre. And that's where we stand here. 14 points for Wakefield, six. For the Greater Lawrence Tech Reggies, and their score came on a nice 21-yard run by the quarterback. So 
So let's see if the Reddies can do with a minute 31 on the clock here in the first half. Another long drive by Wakefield. That, that was a 50-yard drive, 12 plays it was. They want to keep an eye on the running backs. That's both Hurley and Sweeney got up slow on a couple of plays. Hurley kicked that extra point, seems okay, but I want to keep an eye on Sweeney. He's a big part of this offense here. Crowd getting into it down below us here. We're getting ready for the halftime show. And here comes a kickoff. Daniel Hurley, number 44, kicking it off from the 40. And here we go. The kick taken down around the six yard line. Turn to the 20, up to the 30, 35, and maybe 37 yard line. Good field position with a minute 20 to play. First and 10 from the 37 after the kickoff. And let's see what they can do with 70 seconds and some decent field position. 14 to 6, Wakefield leads this one. Crowd getting very vocal down below us here. Cheering on the teams. Diaz, three receivers to the right this time. He goes back to pass. With a dump off, trying to get a screen pass going and nowhere to go. Chris Miller, number 11, was right there to wrap that up for no gain on the play. Maybe a loss of a couple. So second and 12 now from the 35. Clock is ticking. 40 seconds to play here in the first half. Quarterback keeps it himself. Goes up the middle. Juking and jiving. He's still on his feet to the 45. And up near midfield. He's got himself a first down, it appears. Quarterback run for about 14 yards. And that's going to be a first down. At the 40, going to call the 49. They're going to set the clock to 35 seconds. Oh, maybe 51. Nope, 30. So we're trying to get the clock right over here. So 37 seconds on the clock. Three receivers to the right. First and 10 now near midfield. First and 10, the ball is only 49 yard line. Officials conferring about something. I guess we're all set. We're ready to go. Three receivers to the right. One to the left. 37 seconds to go in the half. A high snap is going to be a quarterback keeper. He's running. Got about five or six yards on the carry. And we've got a timeout here as he carried it to the 45-yard line. So the Greater Lawrence Tech players will gather around the coaches with 25 seconds left to see if they can put something together here. Looks like it's going to be a second down and four after that. The 
wind is actually coming at them. So if they're gonna try a field goal, they'd be kicking into the wind. So you'd need to get a long pass pretty close to that goal line to try a field goal, especially with this wind. So three receivers to the left this time for Diaz. Second and four from the 45. Time running out in the first half. Diaz gonna keep it, he's gonna run to the left. He's got some speed over the middle. He's still on his feet and he's down to about the 27 yard line. And we have a player down on the field after the run. First and 10 on the 28. We have to wait a second while they attend to the player that's on the ground. Didn't see the number. But we have 17 seconds to play, and after that run, a little bit of life. Father Reggie's here in the dying seconds of the first half. Thanks, everybody, tuning in, watching the game here on WCAT. Got a good one here, home team up, 14 to six on opening night here at Landrigan Field. And the player is up and that is Hurley who is down again. Slowly heading to the sidelines. So here we go, the clock is running now. 13 seconds to play. The Reggies line up at the 28 yard line. Probably the last play of the half. Diaz, he's got three receivers to the right. Fakes the run. Is he gonna throw it deep? He's gonna hang on to it and go out of bounds and that'll end the first half, but there's a penalty marker down. So that might not be the end of the first half. The officials are conferring here at the sidelines. If it's on the defense, that might give them one more play. I was surprised he didn't throw it deep. He had the three receivers on the right. It could have been a Hail Mary pass, but he hung on to it. And let's see what the call is. Personal foul on the offense. <laughs> And that'll end the half. So, a legal block it was. So, penalty on the offense, and that ends the half. So, Wakefield leads this one 14 to 6 at the half. Let's take a look at our first half scoring before we sign off. After uh, interception. Return to the four yard line. It was Sweeney on the four yard run, banging it in. And the extra point made it seven to nothing for Wakefield. On the next drive though, a good kickoff return to the 32. Got things in motion for Greater Lawrence Tech. And after a penalty brought it down to the 20 yard line, two plays later, Diaz, the quarterback, ran it in himself from 21 yards out. The the uh, two-point conversion failed, so it was seven to six. And then on the next drive, the kickoff was returned to the 50-yard line. It was a nice sustained 12-play 50-yard drive culminating in Pierre with a three-yard TD run on third down. The kick was good, and that's where we stand. 14 to six, Wakefield at the half. We got some terrific halftime festivities here. We'll be back in the third quarter from Landrigan Field in just a few minutes.
Get your 50-50 ticket, though. We only get 121. Yellow ticket tonight. Yellow ticket. 750379. 750379. If you have that, throw it to the concession part of the press box and we'll give you your money. Once again, let me read the number. Yellow ticket. 750379.
And welcome back to Landrigan Field here in Wakefield, Massachusetts. Home opener for the Wakefield Warriors as tonight they are taking on the Great Lawrence Tech Football Reggies. Wakefield leads this one 14 to 6. Let's recap some of the scoring. All that scoring took place in the second quarter after a big interception by Pierre brought the ball all the way down to the four yard line of Greater Lawrence Tech. It was Sweeney pounded it in on first and goal with a four yard run. The extra point made it seven nothing for Wakefield. But the Reggies would answer right back. They would take the next drive, drive it all the way down to the 21 yard line. And on second 11, the quarterback Diaz scrambled up the middle, cut to the left. And he went in for the touchdown to make it 7-6. to six. A two-point conversion failed, and that's where we stood. Then the very next drive, the kickoff was returned to the 50-yard line by Wakefield. A 12-yard drive ended up with a 3-yard TD run by Pierre. The extra point was good. So three drives in a row resulting in touchdowns, and that's where we stand. It is 14-6 to six for the Warriors. Just a couple minutes away now from the kickoff here in the second half. Wakefield will receive the ball as they deferred in the first half and kicked off. I want to thank our underwriters for the game tonight. Keith's Tree Service, the Savings Bank, and the Boys and Girls Club of Stoneham and Wakefield. Thank you so much for being part of our game night team here. And if you'd like to be an underwriter to join our team, give us a call, 781-224-0300, 781-224-0300, and ask for Ryan. And tell him you want to join the game night festivities here for Wakefield Warrior Football on WCAT. Still got about a minute or so to go. Teams are on the sidelines, jumping up and down. Try to do another check of the weather. Last account, it was 63 degrees and really nice out there. And it is still 63 degrees. The rain has held off. Thank goodness for that. We were looking at the hurricane coming up the coast and potentially dousing us tonight. But that looks like it's gonna hold off till about midnight tonight, so plenty of time to get this game in here. Interestingly enough for Wakefield, uh, Wesley Pierce started the game as quarterback. He did get injured, and Nicholas Roberto, number nine, has been doing most of the quarterback duty, so Pierre has been playing at other positions. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Wakefield in the red jerseys will guard the goal to our left. And Greater Lawrence Tech in the gray jerseys will guard the goal to our right. The wind is blowing right to left, so Wakefield will have the wind in the fourth quarter if that wind holds steady. But right now they will be going into this wind. Just waiting for that clock to kick down. The ball blows off the tee, so there's a little bit of a swirling wind out there right now. Looks like it's all set now. Takes a step back. And here we go. 12 minutes on the board. The third quarter is underway here in Wakefield. To the shorter kick on a hop. It's picked up at the 15-yard line. Pierre with it. He's got some room up near the 50, and he's knocked out at about the 49-yard line. Another terrific return. Look at a mark with the 49. Upgraded to Lawrence, so first and 10 now. It'll be the second time in this game that Wakefield has started right at midfield. And the last time was a 12-play drive resulting in that three-yard run by Pierre that put them up 14 to six. Both 
Ball will be spotted at the near hash mark. We'll get a good look at this one. Roberto is the quarterback, and Pierre will be the flanker on the right. Roberto, hand off to Pierre. He's coming with a sweep to the left, and he's hit down behind the line of scrimmage. A five-yard loss on the play. As the defensive line, Father Reggie's got some penetration on that, so that's going to be a second and 15 as they're back all the way back to their own. 47 yard line. So consider that a four yard loss. Second and 14 now for Wakefield here. Opening drive of the third quarter. They lead by eight. Roberto hands this off. It's going to be a pass now. Looking deep. Got his man. And he just overthrew Alden on the fly pad. And it was a handoff to Pierre. And Pierre let that one fly. Had Alden deep. Just overthrew him. And so it's going to be third and 14 now on the 47. Eleven oh two. Clock is stopped here in the third. Uh, the shotgun this time, and a flag is dropped. Looks like it's going to be a five-yard penalty. Don't know. That was a. That was a delay a game penalty or not. So third and 19 back at the 42. So Wakefield had the ball on the 49 and they've gone backwards. Nine yards, and now they have a third and long here. And let's see what they can do. Pierre handed off up the middle and busting forward for about four yards, maybe five. Let's see who got the ball on that one. I think that might have been... I think that might have been Steichman on the carry. So we got five yards. So fourth and 15, maybe 16, and they're going to have to kick this one away. Alden back in punt formation. Takes a snap, kicks this one away. High snap, not very deep. And it's going to take a Wakefield bounce to about the 41-yard line. And that's where the Reggies will take over. So the nice return to midfield. And they end up going backwards on a loss and then a penalty. And they have to kick it away. So Great Lawrence Tech will get their first possession here. The second half trailing 14-6. Ball spotted at the 41. Three receivers to the right this time for Diaz. He has one back in the backfield. And a man split off to the left. Takes a high snap. Quarterback draw up the middle. Dances around, tries to cut through, and manages to pick up about four yards. He got to the 45. Well, that second and five at the 46. And slow to get up on the play. And they mark it at the... They've got a timeout in the field. I'm trying to see where they're going to mark the ball. They're going to mark it at the 46. So gain of five. So a nifty five-yard run for Diaz on the quarterback keeper. 
clock is running now, 9.42 to play here. In the third quarter. Wakefield had the ball in midfield. They went three and out, had to punt it away. Now they're trying to stop the Reggies here. It's a second and five at the 46. Three receivers to the left this time. Diaz clapping his hands. He wants the ball. He's going to keep it again. Tries to run up the middle, and he ran into a stone wall going nowhere. I think that was Andrews at the front of the line that buried him at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of one. So we'll call it third and four now at the 47. Clock ticking, 8.50 to play. It's a third and four now up near midfield for Greater Lawrence Tech. Again, thanks everybody tuning in for opening night 2019 for the Wakefield Warriors here at home. Diaz in the shotgun, three receivers to the left, one back in the backfield with him. He's gonna keep, he's gonna run to the left. Looking for some room, he finds some room and he gets the first down. Down to about the 46 of Wakefield. So that's going to be a first and 10. Mock this one at the 45 yard line of Wakefield. So they keep the drive moving here. The Reggies do. Ball on the near hash mark. They send three receivers off to the right this time. They keep mixing this up, trying to keep Wakefield defense spread out. Diaz calling for the ball, keeps it himself, goes up the middle, and gets a good chunk of yards, five yards in a play. That actually might have been DeJesus number two. The numbers from a distance look the same. So it's a five yard run. I think number two, DeJesus might be in there calling the signals right now. I'm trying to see where Diaz is. But in any case, second and five now, 7-11 to play in the third quarter. Ball on the 40 yard line. High snap. Kept it again, and first down inside the 35 to the 33-yard line, it looks like. And I think that might have been to Jesus again on the direct snap. So first and 10 now on the 34 after the run. Good sustained drive here by Greater Lawrence Tech. And that is the Jesus, who's been coming back to the sideline, taking the snaps. Three receivers out to the left, one to the right. All man-to-man -man coverage. Another run up the middle, busts through, and he'll gain four or five yards on that play. Got it to the 28. Got a six yard game. Second and four now, and a timeout called by Wakefield's going to take this timeout. So, with 5.53 to go here in the third quarter. The Reggie's got a decent drive going. They started at the 41-yard line, and they got it now down to the 28-yard line of Wakefield. A second and four. DeJesus has been taking the snaps in place of Diaz, and he's been slicing and dicing through that offensive line. Fourteen to six, our score. Temperature still holding steady. It's 63 degrees here. The flag blowing a little bit more now from right to left. So for the rest of this quarter, 
Greater Lawrence Tech will have the win with them in case they're thinking of a field goal. All right, Wakefield comes up from the timeout. See what kind of instructions they got here. On second and four, three receivers to the left one more time. They're trying to get it matched up and they finally do. Out of the shotgun one more time. It's gonna be a handoff to the left side. Big hit at the 20 and I think that was Pierre throwing down the running back and uh, oh, extracurricular activity. And we got a flag. Oh, Trying to see who carried the ball. That might have been Espinal on the carry. A good run. But now there's a penalty on the play. And let's see how this all shakes out. This could be interesting. It was a big hit at the 20. He had the first down, stumbled for a few yards, and then after the play, unsportsmanlike, yeah, 15 yards. So I think they're going to get the first down. But another penalty call is going to back them up. So it was first and... They would have had a first and 10 near the 15. And it's going to back them up near the 30 now. Call it the 31. So that is the, I want to say that's the third 15-yard penalty of the day for the Reggies. So it's first and 10, just going backwards now. It's a handoff up the middle and diving forward for about nine yards. That was Espinal, I believe. So nine yards, that should get him a second and one now. Well, they mock him at the 23-yard line. It's going to be second and two. They gave him eight yards on the play. I thought the forward progress got him a little closer to the first down marker, but the spot is where it is. So under five minutes to play here in the third quarter. Wakefield up 14-6, to six, and it's another penalty. Procedure on the second and two, and that's going to back him up. Penalties are now adding up for Greater Lawrence here. So we're going to back it up now, second and seven on the 28. Four forty to play, clock still counting down here in the third quarter. Kind of a sloppy Joe drive here for the Reggies. They started to make some progress, and then they've had a couple of penalties setting them back. And now, out of the shotgun, it's going to be a quarterback. Keeper up the middle. He's got some room if he can get the legs, and he's down near the goal line. I don't think he get in. They're going to mock him down at the one. I think that was DeJesus taking the direct snap. Went down the left side and brought it all the way to the one. So first and goal, mocking at the one. So after the penalty, back them up. A nice run by DeJesus. Gets them to the one. First and goal at the one. Chance to tie the game for the Reggies. Three receivers to the right. A keeper up the middle, and it's close, and the ball's loose. The ball's loose the second time that they have fumbled at the goal line. Do they have it? Waiting for the official signal. And yes, Wakefield 
has the ball. It's the second time Greater Lawrence Tech has fumbled the ball at the one yard line. Back in the first quarter, first and goal at the one, and they fumbled that exact same spot. And they fumble it again, and Wakefield dodges a bullet. And they all have it first and 10, just outside the goal line. It's uncanny, I don't know if that's first down there in that goal line or not on the far end, but that's twice now that the Reddies have fumbled the ball right when they are ready to go in for a score. So with 3.44 to go in the third quarter now, is a chance for Wakefield. Let's see what they can do with the third turnover of the game, deep in their own territory. Gonna be a pitch in the backfield, and he's gonna be safe. That's gonna be a safety. It's a safety. They went with a pitch on the right side. And some big penetration there. I think that was Steichman getting tackled for the safety. So the score now, tack on two points, is 14-8. to eight. So they didn't give up the touchdown. But being that deep, some penetration by the Reggies. And a tackle in the end zone. Got him the safety. So the score is now 14-8. to eight. They will have some breathing room now. They'll be able to punt it from the 20. And the crowd is chanting for the Reggies as some of the away fans have showed up today. So we got a free kick coming from the 20 yard line for Wakefield. Punting into the wind. And that wind is kicked up. I don't know if the cameras can catch it down to our right, but that flag is blowing pretty steadily right now. Wakefield comes out. We'll head over to the 20-yard line. So with 3.38 to play, the defense scores a safety for the away team. It looks like they're gonna kick it off from the tee. The wind's still blowing that flag around. So this should result in some very good field position for Greater Lawrence. <laughs> So kicking off from the 20 yard line after the safety. Cheerleaders in the crowd getting into it down to our left here. Good crowd tonight. And the kick is away. It's going to drop down about the 46. Picked up on the fly to the 50, to the 45, to the 40. And out of bounds, maybe the 40, 36 yard line. And so fantastic field position for Great Lawrence Tech. Let's see where they mark it. Put it closer to the 38 yard line. So the return to the 38, first and 10. Great Lawrence Tech on the 38 yard line. 319 to play in the third quarter. They come out of the huddle quickly. Twice the Reddies have driven it to the one yard line. Twice they have fumbled. A little keeper dancing through and picking uh, probably seven or eight yards on the play. And Diaz is back in at quarterback. Seven yards on the play, second down and three. Well, 
ball marked near the 31 yard line. There's two receivers, to, three receivers to the right again. That's where they're going to run it. A little spin behind the line, and they, they got him. They wrapped him up. They nearly had him for a three yard loss, but he managed to spin back near the line of scrimmage. And that's going to be third down and probably pretty close to three again. Two twenty-four now to play in the third. Fourteen to eight, our score is now after the safety. Diaz, number one, back in at the quarterback position for the Reggies. Good game tonight here for opening night. Good crowd too. Good weather. All pretty decent night. Ah, the shotgun. Diaz keeps it himself. He's wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage for about a three-yard loss, maybe four. And that's going to bring up a fourth and long now. Fourth and six, maybe seven on the four-yard loss. They need to get it to about the 28. 126 on the clock now. Fourth and six for the Reggies. Diaz gets the instructions from the coach. See if Wakefield can hold him. This is a big, big fourth down here in this game. Tail end of the third quarter. Wakefield up 14 to eight. Three receivers to the left. Diaz calls his old number, runs it to the left. Trying to get that first down, and he does, and more. He could be gone. He cuts back towards the middle, and he will score. So the Reggies catch this one in on fourth and six for about the 33. And I think that was Diaz on the run. It was hard to make out that number. But the quarterbacks took the snap, went to the left, and he kept it all the way. Had a blocker in front of him, cut back to the middle, and went in to score with 52 seconds left in the quarter. So the score is now 14 to 14 after the 33 yard TD run. And we'll see if they go for the point or if they go for two. They got the wind at their back. Let's we'll see if they send out a kicker or not. This is the third possession, I'm sorry, the second possession of the third quarter here. Wakefield's had two, but their second possession was a one-play safety after the fumble. And so the Reddy's going to take a timeout and talk about this. So 14 to 14, the conversion attempt coming up for Greater Lawrence Tech to see if they can take the lead. They've scored all the points here in the second half. It was 14 to six at the half, as mentioned. And after a second fumble at the goal line, on a terrific defensive stop by Wakefield, uh, Wakefield took a safety as they tried to sweep it to the right side. So that made it 14 to eight. And this is the resulting drive after the free kick. And it resulted in a 33 yard touchdown run, unofficially 33 yards by Diaz, we believe. And now they're lining up for the conversion attempt. Three receivers to the right once again. Quarterback takes a direct snap, goes to the right. Looks for some blocks, tries to cut across, and does! He spins in 
Looks like he spun three or four times, spun off the blockers, and it went in for the conversion. So two points on the run. And now it's 16 to 14 visitors. So for the first time tonight, Wakefield trails on this one. They will have the wind in the fourth quarter, I believe. And with 52 seconds left in the third quarter, the wind will be in favor of the Reggies when they kick off here. So let's see how Wakefield responds after giving up the safety and then the touchdown run and two point conversion. As they gave up 10 quick points to the Reggies. And now the kickoff from the 40 yard line. I believe this is Matul kicking this one off. And the ball, looked like it blew off the tee, but it didn't. He winds up and kicks it anyway. Taken at the 19 yard line to the 30. Slips around a man to the 33 and out of bounds and right into the Reggie's bench. And flags fly after the play. That was a good return. Got him in. Returning that one right into the bench. And the officials are throwing flags. So let's see where that kickoff goes. He turned to about the 37. But then we have a penalty. Dead ball foul, personal foul. And this, I, I have to double check. This might be the fourth 15 yard penalty. It's, it's definitely three, it might be four. So that's gonna give them fantastic field position here late in the third quarter. We're mocking it off right now. Gonna be up near midfield. I'll put it at the 49 yard line. So first and 10 from the 49 of the Great Lawrence team. Wakefield lines up 45 seconds ago here in the third quarter. They now trail 16-14. It's a little quick pitch and right side, nowhere to go. Probably a yard loss on the play. Some big penetration there. Steichman with the carry. He goes backwards the yard, so it's gonna be second and 11 now. Yeah, they're gonna give him no gain on the play. It goes from one side of the 49 to the other side of the 49, actually. So we'll still call it second and 10. Wakefield comes out. One receiver to the left. Everybody else bunched up into the middle. And we got the coach out on the field. Talking to the referees about something. Not sure what the discussion is. Clock stop with seven seconds. Not sure what is happening. Espinal was talking to one of his teammates about something that happened. But here we go. Wakefield in midfield. Hand off and another whistle. At the end of third quarter, and I guess that's the end of the third quarter. They did not get the playoff in time as Driggers took the handoff, was ready to go to the left side. So we'll swap ends. And that's going to be a very short swap with the ball at the 49 yard line. They only have to move it two yards the other way. So we go to the fourth quarter. It is 16-14 now in favor of the Greater Lawrence Tech Reggies. So Wakefield with a second and just over 10. We can call it second and 10 from the 49, if you will. 
that's how we'll kick things off here in the fourth quarter. Again, thanks to our underwriters for tonight's game, Keith Tree Service, the Savings Bank, and the Boys and Girls Club of Stoneham and Wakefield. Thank you to our underwriters. And if you'd like to join us here on game night, give us a call, 781-224-0300. Ask for Ryan. Tell him you want to become part of our game night team. So Wakefield will get the wind here in the fourth quarter going from right to left. They have a second down and we'll call it 10, 12 fresh minutes on the scoreboard. Tight formation, Steichman to the right side, dancing through, running to a pile of players and pick up a couple on the play. That'll bring up a third and long. Third and eight at the 47. They need to get inside the 40 yard line for the first down. They really do need a, a breakout play to make this happen. They've had a couple of decent runs, and both have been to the outside. Up the middle has been clogged for them most of the night. Everybody tight. Going to try it. Sweep. Quarterback keeper. Going to the right side. Runs out of room. It was almost like a bootleg. I'm not sure if that was a busted play or a bootleg, but Roberto had nowhere to go on that. Looks like they were trying to go to sweep to the left. He doubled back to the right and might have lost a yard on the play. So fourth down and nine now. And looks like they're gonna kick it away. Got the wind at his back, the flag is blowing out. See if you can pin him deep, good snap. Kicks away, good kick, gets it up into the wind. They're gonna let it bounce and it's gonna roll out around the four yard line. What a kick that was. Hurley got it up in the wind, let it carry, and put it down there in the old coffin corner, as they say. So it's at the four yard line. Terrific punt. And now the field position game comes back into play. So punt to the one yard line. And that's where Greater Lawrence Tech will begin. First and 10. Actually, I'm sorry, that's the four, not the one yard line. Punt to the four yard line. So if Wakefield can stop them here and force a punt from the end zone, they will have terrific field position. They trail in this one by two points. It's 16-14. Three receivers to the right. Diaz calling for the ball. He's back in the shotgun. Trying to cut up the middle. Nowhere to go. Spins away. Still on his feet and driving forward for a few guys. So it will look like to be a busted play. Turns into a game. So he looks like he picks up seven on the scramble. Oh, seven yard run. He gets him second and three now on the 11. Wakefield D needs to come up big here. Want to get that ball back and have some good field position. Diaz calling for the ball again. And movement. Got some movement on the left side. And that's another break. And penalties are really, really hurting this great Lawrence Tech team. So five yard penalty. They're going to probably go half the distance to the goal. So that probably puts it at the eight yard line. So, second, maybe six from the eight.
Three receivers to the right one more time. Second and eight. Quarterback takes a snap. He's going to keep. He's going to go to the right side. He's flushed out. Nowhere to go. Oh, he got a hit. Looks like his helmet come off. And flags are down everywhere. Very dangerous on that play as he took a hit. His helmet went flying off. And let's see what the call is here. As he was tackled at the 15. Referees to talk in this one over. He was sh near the first down. I was going to say short, but I think he was pretty close to the first down. He might actually have it. That's going to be a face mask on Wakefield. It's not going to matter. So it's going to be an automatic first down to 15 yards. So after the punt to the four-yard line, Wakefield had him pinned deep. But after the run and then the penalty... Some breathing room now for Greta Lawrence. So, so we got a first and 10 now, up at the 28. High snap, takes it down. It's a handoff now to the right side. Knocked down right at the line of scrimmage. DeHase is trying to sweep that one. Nowhere to go. Put that right at the line of scrimmage, so no yards on that game. Second and ten now. Time becoming a factor. Eight and a half to play here in the fourth quarter. Wakefield trails by two. They'd like to get that ball back soon. Ball to 28. Second and ten. Reggie's taking their time coming out of the huddle. They're in no particular hurry right now. Diaz and DeJesus in the backfield. Quarterback keeper up the middle and picking up about six or seven yards, dragging a couple of players with him, and that's going to bring up third down. They go to the 36. They need to get to the 38. So we'll call it third and two now. At the 36. Coach calling in the signals now to Diaz. Seven and a half minutes to go here. High snap, handoff up the middle. The Jesus with it trying to get that first down. I think they stuffed him. He needed two, he got one. And that's gonna bring up a fourth down. See where they spot this. Oh, it looks like they're going to give him the first down. Boy, that was really close. And after a look at it, it's going to be first down. A generous spot on the third and two. So they're going to give him the two-yard gain. And now it's going to be first and ten. So the drive continues at the 43-yard line. From here, it looked like they stopped him. But he must have fallen forward to pick up that extra half yard to get the first down. Now two receivers on the left, two on the right this time. Quarterback keeps it left side. Got some room. Still on his feet up the midfield. First down and more as he gets it to about the 46-yard line. So another first down, this time on the Wakefield side. So this drive started at the four-yard line after the punt. And they have driven this 50 yards. So the field possession game was in the favor of the Warriors for a while, but after this 50-yard drive and counting, the Reggies have taking that over coming up on six minutes to play the Reddies with the ball going left to right they have a two-point lead it's 16 to 14 first and 10 on the 46 snap here's a keeper by the quarterback again Diaz runs forward picks up another seven or eight yards on that left side yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So they got it on the 39 yard line. Coming up on five and a half to play. They are actually grinding some time off this clock as well. So Wakefield needs to get a stop here. They need to get that ball back. They will have to win it there back for the rest of this quarter. Diaz coming in, taking his time. Letting as much as that clock run down as he can. Second and three. Inside the 40 of the Wakefield Warriors. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Running back comes up tight. Running back takes the ball, goes up the middle, near first down. Let's see where they spot it. I think that was the Jesus again. It looks to be short, but I said that last time, and it's going to be short. So two yards to the 37. Third, less than a yard now from the 37 of Wakefield. Like to see Wakefield get some good penetration, get a loss on this play. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Two backs in the backfield. Going to be a handoff to Jesus. Goes forward and will get the first down up near the 36-yard line. Referee looks at it. And no, they want to take a look at that, actually. I thought he got it, but it's close enough for a measurement. So they're going to bring out the sticks. 3.51 to play. The clock has stopped. 16 to 14, the visitors. Crucial measurement here. Is it a fourth down or is it first down? And they got it. By about a half a ball length on the spot. So first and 10 on the 36 now. After the one yard run. That'll be the 11th play of this drive which began at their own four yard line. Good sustained drive, chewing up the clock taking the field position back. Wakefield needs to step up and make a play right here on D. Two receivers to the right. High snap, handoff, up the middle, and there's a play that we needed right there. That's going to be a one-yard loss on the play. Second and 11 now, back on the 37. Time is ticking away, though. Coming up on three minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Fifty six now, slowly coming back into the huddle is Diaz. Second and eleven. Three receivers to the left this time, one to the right for the Reggies. One back in the backfield with Diaz. He's collapsing, he wants the ball. He's gonna keep it himself. He goes up the middle, he finds a hole, tries to cut back, run into some trouble, and he cuts back and might have got back to the original line of scrimmage. Looked like he had a couple yards in the game when he cut back. He went backwards. They're going to give him forward progress, though, to the 34-yard line. Very, very generous spot. So a third and about seven on the 34. That's a generous spot. It looked like he had been tackled back near the original line of scrimmage, which is the 36. Under two minutes to play now. It's third and about seven. Need to get it to the 26, and now we've got a timeout. So 147, we'll take a timeout here. 16 to 14, Greater Lawrence Tech in the lead. They got the ball third and... Right about seven now on the 34-yard line of Wakefield. 
Long sustained drive to stop at their four yard line as they try to put this game away on the Warriors. The rain has held off. So it'll be a nice dry night, dry ride home for everybody. As the hurricane coming up the coast. Let us finish this game before it brought any of the rain over here in Eastern Massachusetts tonight. I'd like to thank everybody who tuned in tonight watching this game. I'd like to thank the crew. All the guys in the booth, all the guys on the camera. And everybody else that made this game possible tonight. And just a little hint to everybody in the crew, if you bring pizza for me, I will mention your name. Just saying. For next time. For October 11th, when Winchester comes to town. Or October 18th, when Watertown comes to town. As those are our next two home games here on WCAT. So it's a third and 11 now. Three receivers to the right. Diaz clapping the hands. He wants the ball. He's going to pass this time. Fires it over the middle. Got a man. And that's going to be a first down inside the 25 to the 24. So picked up about eight yards on the play. That's going to be a first and 10 now. And now we've got a timeout. I Wakefield with 141 to play. And that was a backbreaker. A third and seven. They picked up eight or nine on the pass over the middle. Nice dump and catch by Diaz. Found his man, hit him right in the bread basket. It was tackled immediately, but that was enough yards for the first down. So now Wakefield's gotta come up with some kind of miracle here. Four fresh downs for Greater Lawrence. 141 to play. Going to mark the ball at the 24. That might have been closer to a 10 yard pass, actually. Band over here trying to get the defense fired up. If you can hear them on the broadcast. Charlie is at Sharon trying to fire up the Warriors here. Try to come up with some magic. And the last minute, 41 seconds, trailing by two. Snap, Diaz up the middle. Has to go forward. Wakefield pulling at the ball, but it's going to spin forward for five yards. And another timeout. Pick up about five on the play. Got it down to near the 21, 22 yard line, maybe the 20 yard line. Fifteenth play of the drive. This is pretty much chewed up most of this fourth quarter. One thirty-two to play, second and six now at the 20. Wakefield has forced two fumbles in this game, both at the goal line, preventing touchdowns, and they have an interception that set up one of their touchdowns. They're going to need another turnover here. And snakes forward for maybe a yard, maybe back to the middle line of scrimmage. Clock is ticking now, third and three now from the 21. Well, as much time ticked down as they can. Diaz trots back in, coming up on a minute to play. Third down. Maybe one last chance for the Warriors here. Can the defense dig deep? Trailing by two, late in the game. Here at home. Three receivers to the left for the Reggies. 
the snap. It's going to be a run to the left. Can try to force him out of bounds, but he slips forward for the first down. He goes out of bounds, but he gets the first down, and that'll probably do it. So that's going to be a first and ten now. About the 11 yard line. That was a 10 yard run. First and 10 on the 11. And this drive has nearly encompassed the entire field. It started at their own four yard line and they're all the way down to the 11 of Wakefield. And all they gotta do is just tick off the final 32 seconds here with the first set of downs. Great job by Wakefield here tonight. The defense come up big on a couple of occasions, forcing three turnovers. It's just been the long sustained drive by the Reggies that have really kind of turned this game around. Out of the gun and taking a knee. A victory formation as they might call it. And see if they're gonna snap it one more time. 20 seconds, clock ticking down, and I think that's gonna do it. So that is the final play of the game. So the final score here in Wakefield is Greater Lawrence Tech Reggie's 16 and the Wakefield Warriors 14. Wakefield had a 14-6 lead at the half. They could not score in the second half. They gave up a safety, and then they gave up a 33-yard TD run, and that would be the difference in this one. So I want to thank everybody who tuned in tonight, everybody who helped on the broadcast, and once again, a shout-out to our underwriters for tonight's game, Keith's Tree Service, the Savings Bank, and the Boys and Girls Club, of Stoneham and Wakefield. Thank you so much for being part of our game night broadcast here on WCAT. And if you'd like to be part of that team, give us a call, 781-224-0300 and ask for Ryan. So for everybody here on the crew, thanks for tuning in here on opening night at Landrigan Field. My name is Dave Godner. Once again, the final score, it is Greater Lawrence Tech 16 and Wakefield 14. We hope to see you back here again on October 11th against Winchester. Good night, everyone.